haven't done this for a while. So let's dig into this. Yeah, I've been sick again, the altitude thing. I'll uh, follow up with another coffee time and I'll explain what's going on with that. And I've got some uh, pretty good clips just before I got sick of some things in uh, El Centro. I think you'll find interesting. <coughs> so, Bernarda Franco. She writes in response to the video about six things I don't like. My country is providing a place for you to stay and enjoy a nice calm life and you go and complain and judge our culture. The solution is simple. If, and it's cut off here, but essentially you don't like it, you can leave. Um, this country is not providing me with anything. I paid $3,000 to live here. I pay every step of the way. I don't subscribe to the socialist health program. I pay my way entirely. Nobody is providing me anything. I'm entirely independent in this life. So spare me your hypocritical comment. And then she followed up with, hmm, when was I rude to you? Did I hurt your feelings? How would you feel if I go to your house and complain about the things I don't like? Ecuador is providing you with a place to stay again. So I don't need to comment more on that. And yeah, I did front load um, negative comments, which are actually pretty rare, but uh, because I have to suffer through them, I thought if I'm going to do a review, you should see some of these. Now, keep in mind, the very worst ones with the really foul language, I delete. Okay, this was in my Kali, where I put four things I don't like about Kali. And I really, really dislike that city. I've never liked it. This is the first time where I actually spent some time giving it a chance. But there's no giving it a chance in my book. It's not for me. It's not my taste. It's nothing I'm interested in. While maybe I love Colombia, I don't love everywhere in Colombia. And this is one place that to me is the pits. Now if you're from Cali, sorry, then it's for you. It's not for me. But this guy writes, this video sucks. You don't have to make a video saying the bad things of a city. Cali is the third most important city in Colombia. And it's still growing more than other cities. Like Medellin and Bogota, all Colombia has garbage on the streets and homeless. You're in the wrong country. So he just actually confirmed two of the four things that I don't like about Cali. So if you're going to confirm the things that I'm saying, why are you complaining? I mean, I know you don't want to hear it, but they're true. And isn't that the point of the videos is to speak truth. I'm not talking to people that live in Cali like apparently you do. I'm talking to people that might want to come. And if they come and nobody's told them about these things, then they have this huge negative perception and they're going to automatically hate it. But if they know about it when they come and they're still okay with it, it won't have a negative impact. It'll just confirm what they already heard and they're, and they're okay with it. You know, one of the things, for example, is it's really hot there. I don't like hot areas. Many people love hot areas. So what's negative for me isn't going to be negative for somebody else. Okay, so here's yet another one on my Colombian trip last year where um, this is a video when I went to Salento, which is really a tourist town, but it's a beautiful place to go. So I go there and I walk through the town and I'm, we're joking, I'm with my friend Javier and we're joking about things and I'm taking videos of what's there. 
So Francisco says, the guy making this video is annoying. Well, I can't disagree with that. I'm pretty annoying. Playing the role of the typical stupid gringo. Who says it's a role? Which is, by the way, an outdated role. If you are a tourist in 2018 and act like a moron, and et cetera, et cetera. He complains because I'm viewing it like a tourist. It's a tourist town. There is no other way to view it. It is set up to be touristy. It has all the historical quaint things in the town intentionally. You'll see indigenous women, which there look like Southwest United States. They look like Navajo dress. It's very interesting. But you'll see them dressed in their traditional outfits, very nice, sitting along the walkways for the flavor of it. They're not there sitting all day for nothing. They're part of this touristy package. So you get to walk through some old flavor of Colombia, things that went on in the past. There's tourist shops all over the place. You can buy your tourist trinkets. But there's no hiding it. There's no shame of that. It's, it's a beautiful place and it's a good place to go. But, um, you know, to complain that I'm talking like a tourist in a tourist town, how else are you going to talk about it? Some of these really have to crack you up. Well, at least they entertain me. Okay, we've got Avery, who um, writes a lot of comments, and I thank you for that. I'm looking forward to the video on Cuenca's altitude, which you've seen by now. I thought the weather in Quito was much better, but the dirt and pollution was worse. Take care of those lungs. You only have two. Maybe a trip to the coast to dry them out. Stay well. Well, a trip to the coast would dry it out, but I don't want to live on the coast, so uh, by now we know what my plans are. I'm out of here in less than 10 days. Um, I'm looking forward to it because I'm tired of being sick. I think the dislikes are a problem of the people that dislike you, not a problem of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Howard Lee writes, thank you for your efforts. I always enjoy your videos. Well, thank you for watching. And on the video where I talked about new things in Cuenca. Excellent video, beautiful areas. God will continue to bless all that you do. Well, I certainly hope so. And we're back to the Cali, Colombia. Dude, if you want likes and subscribers, do not make this kind of video that hurts the feelings of many people. Your criticism is personal that do not represent the majority of the opinions of the visitors of that city. Great point. And that's what it always is going to be. It's going to be personal. It's my view, my opinion. I can't have the opinion of thousands of other people. I don't know what that would look like. It's my opinion, my take on it. There's no right or wrong. It's just how I feel about it. So accept it or don't accept it. Doesn't matter. Cuenca to Cali via bus. I always wondered what Cuenca to Cali terrestrial route was like. Thank you for sharing your video. Um, you're certainly welcome. We're back on the six things I don't like video. Sounds like America, maybe Bolivia or the end of the world would be a better choice. Why are you in Cuenca anyways? Anyways. Hasn't been overrun with expats, most of them liberal douchebags who want to live their little America regardless of the cost to the indigenous, indigenous. I'm not a hater, but I find it offensive that you go to Ecuador only to complain about it and ridicule its policies on public media. You sound just like all the other disgruntled expats who never learned the language or bothered to mingle with the local people on an intelligent level. I'm saddened that people with your attitude get to go to other countries. 
Well, if you get a job, maybe you can afford to go to other countries. Um, and this is a prime example of somebody that drops in, watches one video, and doesn't have a clue of anything about me, anything about the videos, the purpose of the video, and they just want to be haters. Now, as I've said before, this was a two-part video, six things I love, six things I don't like. Four of the six things that I don't like were mentioned by the mayor uh, last year that he needed to find solutions because they were big problems. Four of the six. That was after I did this video. That came out about two months after I did the video. The six things I list are pretty well known. I mean, not many. I mean, some people will disagree, but for the most part, this is a list that anybody could have said. Now, I find it fascinating that he talks about me not mingling with local people since that's pretty much all I do. It's almost all of my friends. It's where I spend all of my time. I don't know what the heck. I mean, so, you know, form opinions without any knowledge and stand in line. That's how the world goes today. Okay, my Cuenca, Ecuador personal announcement video. Hey, is your girlfriend interested in meeting me? I got a great job, a house, a car, and I'm divorced. I'm Paul. Uh, probably not. She's not my girlfriend. Months ago, I was looking for a sofa and went to Colonial. Then I went check the price on one of the gringo stores for used furniture same price for a very similar sofa i mentioned to the owner and i said that i was told by the store manager at colonial 140 dollar credit for a new purchase plus free delivery the owner of the gringo store didn't offer any discounts prices for used furniture is not always the best he was confirming something that i mentioned in a video not so long ago and why you, could, you know I mentioned that it's not a used culture there's no Salvation Armies or the kinds of stores like that but you have a couple gringo stores that are owned and operated primary pretty much by gringos and um, you know they're trying to get that going the problem is these things are consignment and so let's say I've got this couch here and let's say I paid new $600 so I go in there and I think well I need to get at least $500 because you want to get the most you can you're not going to go in and lowball well $500 maybe they've got to clean it they've got to make some kind of profit so they're up to $600 and you could buy a new one for $600 see that's what happens they're taking in whatever they can to have inventory but they're not really setting the price the people trying to sell it set the price but if you go in there they're not there to haggle you know say 500 400 300 200 no 300 okay let's make a deal it doesn't work like that so they set a high price you get the markup and they've got a and they've got to muscle it around and they got to clean it and prepare it and the things that they need to do and they deserve to make some money but that's why it's difficult to find deals there it's because the original prices that were put on it by the owners of these consignment items is just unrealistic doesn't mean you shouldn't go you should still go check it out see what you can find you're gonna find some deals and sometimes you could say well, why don't you get with a guy and see if he'll take such and such, and maybe that'll happen. Okay, coffee time, illness prices, dislikes, and news. How very sad people rate about Trump to you um, in this non-political channel. How tempted I am to post some hard data on how well things are going, but nah, it's not what I'm here watching these videos for. It's a great point we all have our political beliefs and the world has gotten a little crazy I've got a few friends that I can actually have conversations with and neither side gets upset it's life is what it is and you know and people that have lived for a while particularly if you live through the 60s 
you should understand that at the at the moment it seems like the end of the world it's just how it goes and we go through these cycles politics is politics these videos are not about politics if I ever decide to make some I'll let you know but they're not about politics but you have people whether it's on Facebook posts or even comments on these videos or even emails to me that somehow take a topic and want to turn it into something political just because they got an extra grind and they want to make their viewpoint known and frankly I don't care what your politics are doesn't matter to me Cuenca Ecuador walk in the park this was uh, Parque de la Madre he left out the best part the statue of Jefferson Perez the only Olympic gold medal winner in the history of Ecuador great point he won the 20k race walk in Atlanta Georgia okay no race walk jokes in the 1996 summer games he also won the silver medal in the same event in Beijing China as well as the world championships in 2003 2005 2007 <coughs> his coach also has a bust on display race walking in Ecuador begins and ends with this great coach so I sense a connection but they're all great points and uh, I appreciate contributions like that well I knew about the statue I didn't know about everything around it thanks for this informative video can we get an update on Sandy and her family yes I have one a, a lot of clips actually to put that together I've got five videos right now waiting for me I'm getting my voice back this is my first attempt since I lost my voice yet again uh, but I'll try to get those together uh, remember I'm moving and so anything between now and uh, first week of September is sheer luck of I had a few minutes so don't expect much after that I've got all these things that come flying out like happens sometimes a lot of times the altitude issues don't even come up for years that's actually a great point I know you have a lot of time invested in Cuenca but I can see in here you need to move to a lower altitude I know you're torn but your health is paramount so move lower in Ecuador I seriously considered that and I've considered lots of different places but where I want to live isn't defined by the border of Ecuador or Colombia and so I, when I looked at it what has the things that I want to live and Colombia came in after Cuenca so if I'm gonna move why why go to number five or six choice when I could go to number two choice and so that's that's how my decision is plus I already have friends there where in these other places I don't which isn't you know it's not paramount I mean I hardly knew anybody when I came here and it's easy to make friends but um, you know it's certainly a consideration so then he continues on you said you're partial to the area you're in and I don't blame you it's nice there uh, this person's actually seen where I live the neighborhood why not just move residency and citizens citizenship to Colombia I hear it's pretty easy um, well I am moving there and I am getting residency there and it only takes about two weeks another one on the altitude in Cuenca excellent video and amazed that I've never seen anyone talk about how the altitude affects on them in a year or less I plan on vis visiting Cusco Peru so I guess I will see how I'm affected also you can always move to Guayaquil no I can't move to Guayaquil it's not even an option um, I don't want to live in Miami either uh, it's just not a place I want to live but keep in mind that there's different kinds of altitude issues and most altitude issues are the ones you experience at first and you get over in a matter of a few weeks or maybe a couple months most people a matter of days then you have this particular one that I have that usually doesn't show itself for one two three four years it 
it usually develops later and uh, a small percentage I don't know exactly I get the impression it's maybe five percent not many maybe it's less uh, but unfortunately I'm blessed with it high altitude pulmonary edema yeah and William commented we have watched many of your videos in the past year Lauren and we feel that you present judicious objective commentary after moving here six months ago our opinions remain the same thank you all the best to you Lauren with your move to Columbia my husband and I look forward to seeing your adventures there I look forward to doing them uh, Fred great video answers many questions please continue to produce videos I absolutely will if anything um, it's going to get closer to almost daily videos once I move there for reasons I may go into at some point but it's something I'll be able to do there that here it's pretty tough to do Lolita thank you we hope to have a cup of coffee with you in Armenia best of luck uh, wish you a smooth move these are people that I met here in uh, Cuenca their viewers and they've been in Colombia they came here they're currently in Peru I think and so we've had some ongoing conversations about where they're ultimately going to settle down last I heard they were going to settle down uh, in Colombia but um, thank you for the continued support and comment Ronald commented well all I can say is it's just depressing as hell that there's that mentality around that make you have to explain this stuff from 17 different angles and still they may get it wrong yeah that's the videos um, in particular um, the uh, for men only video talking about uh, sex tourism uh, and how it's endlessly misconstrued because people don't actually watch it and so they don't get the point that I'm actually discouraging that in Cuenca um, yeah it is sad and it's frustrating sometimes that I have to explain the obvious but uh, yeah that's just how it goes so that's it for today um, as far as these comments go haven't done them in quite a while so I thought it was time to give you a taste of my world now it was heavily skewed on the negative but actually I find those more entertaining more interesting uh, more humorous uh, usually so um, I have a coffee time coming up a few things to explain and then I've got a couple uh, well at least one that I'll get out before I move about my last trip down to El Centro. So I'll see you soon.